What's happening, family? First of all, I want to say rest in peace to take off and send love and condolences to his entire family, all of his loved ones out there, man. Y'all keep y'all head up because I know it's extremely hard losing a loved one, especially in the manner that y'all did and especially with it being as public as it is, man. So y'all keep y'all head up out there. This video is nothing but love and respect. But on this channel, we discuss narcissism and narcissistic abuse. So y'all going to see exactly why I posted this video right here in a minute. But um, just shout out to take off, man. And I'm going to get right into the content. Before we get into it, y'all go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so y'all can get all the upcoming videos, man. I absolutely appreciate each and every last one of my day ones for just continuing to rock with the channel. And if y'all are new here, I absolutely love and appreciate y'all for joining the channel, man. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. All right, so a while back, I did a video entitled We're in a Season of Exposure. This was right around the time that the whole Chris Rock, Will Smith incident happened, right around that time that the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp trial started, and it was all of these different things in the industry being exposed, and it seems like we're still in that same season of exposure, and I'm going to show you all exactly what I'm talking about. So in case y'all are not familiar with who this dude is right here, he is the CEO of Quality Control Records, P. Thomas. That's the record label that the Migos are signed to. And recently his mother released a few statements regarding Takeoff's murder. And not only Takeoff's murder, but just the behavior and the treatment that he's received from his family. So I just want y'all to listen to this and y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all tell me what it sound like to y'all. I'm a sacrifice. So you better know this. They come for what is pure. They come for the one that's got the love, okay? Because I got a lot of love. But when I tell you, your enemies always be close. I have had my family members to jump me. I'm, I'm Listen, anybody who's experienced narcissistic abuse can relate to exactly what this lady's saying in this clip. This world and the industry is so wicked that they target people that's full of love. Because this situation right here, that family would never be the same. Now, I'm a victim of this bullshit. I did not know Takeoff. I did not know Quavo. I met Offset. A long uh, time ago, and I have my own opinion. I personally can't stand the industry. I can't stand none of these. Real talk, I'm a sacrifice. So you better know this. They come for what is pure. They come for the ones that's got the love. Okay, because I got a lot of love. Yeah, we're so broken about takeoff. I know why. Because number one, takeoff was a wonderful individual. Number two, there's a betrayal. Okay, and I just ain't gonna talk about it. But uh, this ain't no chess game, no chucker game. This a chess game. Anybody coming for me? Cause they been coming for me. They not. Pierre is so broken about takeoff. My family members to jump me. I've been isolated ever since this label started and Amigos got their first Grammy. My son said to me, Mama, I'm congratulating him. But he said to me, and this is my firstborn, Mama, your life over with. It's been six years. The whole Queen Madonna came and got with my youngest son, who is the weakest link. And I, I tell you what, I'm not going to make this about me today. But I've been jumped. I've been jailed. I've been made to look crazy. I've been made to look that I'm a, I'm a junkie. I'm this and I'm that. Let me tell you something. You can raise a child on their knees. You can take them in the Church of God in Christ because I did all that. My house was a house of prayer. But a snake is a snake is a snake is a snake. These witches, these warlocks, they be in your own damn bloodline. 
Now, I just want to give my condolences to this family. I feel that Takeoff had the spirit of the dove. I feel that he had the heart of the lion. I feel that this young man was chosen. Now, they go into this stuff. I told my son, because I heard the young lady talking about what you should teach a child. Well, I told my son this, and I talked to all my children. I was a raw, uncut parent, and I told them about life and about the way it really is. And I remember telling my son, let me tell y'all the truth about life and about the way it really is. The devil gonna offer you the world just like he did Jesus. He don't just come to rich folk. He come to the chosen one. And I said now, it's gonna be your choice because see God, he don't force himself on nobody. Don't think that the devil ain't offered me his kingdom way long ago. I could have been with the rich man I had three kids, that rich man money. I got enough to do what I needed to do, and I knew when to pull back. I am very, very uncomfortable with this situation. I wanted to go pay my respect to take off. But I couldn't because they already got my picture down now. They're going to humiliate me. Have me locked up, say I'm crazy. So God told me to stay back. You talked about the gift of discernment. I am a counselor. And so I know the way take off. I know he I know that he was intuitive. And I'm sure that he felt something. Listen, you follow the closest one that's closest to you, and it can cost you your life. My health is all messed up. My sister dropped me from behind in a Christmas dinner. They flew me from L.A. After that, my son tripped me in the dark, let a trunk down on my back. Don't tell me what family won't do. I'm in court right now with my aunt who's been dragging me in and out of court on false accusations. I finally get a damn TPO on her. She want to move the judge out the way so she can get what she want. What the hell wrong with you can't just leave me alone? Because, see, jealousy is as cruel as the grave, baby. Don't tell me what I'm real mad about shit with take off J. Prince. And fuck Jazz Prince and Jay Prince okay. Jr. And I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be able to let this mother know my heart is with you. They won't let me get close to nobody. And not that I want to be seen because that ain't my world. I don't condone none of this shit. Anybody coming for me, because they've been coming for me. They're not going to stop coming for me. But I'm going to tell you, I'm a child of the Most High God. And the blood of Jesus is on me. The devil can keep shooting his best shot with me. Because, see, I am dying. I'm in God's army. We know that we all going to live, live this life. Nobody's going to stay here. I'll give you the billion now with the most billions on the earth. Your ass going to sleep you, or you going to leave here. Because we didn't come in this land and stay here. When it come to the young people, please don't follow nobody. Stop following. Stop following y'all. Because y'all didn't hear Tupac. He said in real life, your friends is your enemies. Huh? They should have learned from Tupac and Biggie. I'm not understanding why these boys was in Houston with this stuff that just happened with Duke the Jeweler. I don't get it. I don't get it that if you had that status, security is damn special forces, Navy SEALs and shit. You got money. I didn't
I saw the messy video. I saw a lot of messages. I'm not going to try to say too much. Please. But who's going to go to somebody else's house and make threats? Come on with the jokes. Mm. I saw the whole situation. Come on with the jokes. I guess because I done live long enough. I'm from the hood. I'm from Martin Luther King and Bankhead. I spent probably 30 years in College Park, Old National, Godless Road. And uh, let me tell you something. It's rude to this shit. What's the rule? There's not a doubt. There's, there's not a doubt in me that Takeoff probably didn't want to go. He didn't want to be there. That's what everybody go. said. He, he probably didn't, didn't want to go. No, he was influenced you know, by uh, Quavo. He was following him. And 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 about these snakes, they all crawling on their belly. You know, understand? I've called my son all week to check on him. I'm not allowed to talk to him. Um, he's done quite a bit to me, and they try to keep me quiet and not seen. I just tell you, you do the best you can do as a parent, and um, you got you can you can raise some psychos and don't even know it. Um, or you in denial. I was in denial for a long time. You understand? But I'm not in denial about nothing because, see, the truth makes you free. And when God tell you it is what it is, it is what it is. Don't nobody need to be blind to what's going on. We are living in the last days. Everybody be better be looking out, trying to, to look out for God. That's what you better be doing. You understand? Right. Um, this world not going to stay around. Do you understand? Jesus is on the way back. You ain't got to believe it. He going to show up and he going to show out when it's time. You understand? But while we are here on this earth, we need to be, you know, that word say, every man must work out their own salvation. Some people don't want salvation. Some people living in hell and they know they going to hell and they all right with it. They done made the deal. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, it is what it is. For me, I've suffered so much, I'm shell-shocked. You understand? It happened to me in my childhood. It that happened to, happened to me as I was raising my children. When every family member turned their damn back, except for my auntie, God bless her soul, that's gone. And her children turned on them a lot of generational curse. You understand? Yes, I did so great and sent to my children. But it did not mean in the demeanor that they got their money. You understand what I'm saying? And that's on them and that's between them and God. This whole prima donna, she's the biggest snake I ever damn met besides some of them snakes in my family. Okay? Now, I hate my son made babies with a voodoo witch. Those babies are innocent. For me, uh, when I tell you I'm sacrificed, I don't even know Pierre grand Pierre children. Because the that he got babies with, though none of them have ever, not one time, tried to bring a baby to me. I'm not in the business of chasing some bitches that I don't even know. Excuse my English, y'all. I'm trying to keep it clean because, you know, I am from the West Side. I am from my little king and bankhead. My grandmama talked and I talk and I, I am no nonsense with my mouth. 90 but I seconds. don't want to, you know, you know, I want to do better when the public is hearing me because I am an older woman, but I'm, 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 I'm no nonsense. You know, like, you know, you, you want to, you, you want to go to war with me, but well, first of all, I'm going to raise the word of God that swore it on you. But if you come for me, then I'm something else. But I'm so messed up physically from what my family members have done to me, particularly my sister. My son and 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 uh, some of his seconds. Sons, but whatever. It ain't about me. It's about a young man is gone, and it's and about you can the relate. pain. You can relate she, to his situation more than you ever could. More than you ever could know. More than you ever could know. I can relate. More than you ever could know. Or any of y'all could know. This is a sad situation. And I just want God to, to do his due, ju his due justice. And he's going to get the vengeance for takeoff life. He's going to get the vengeance with what they've been doing to me. Yes. And there are others that are going on. You understand? Yes. But I would tell anybody, you better stand up for what you know is right. Do the right thing. Ten seconds.
no matter what they offer you. All money ain't good money. Your family can be your worst damn enemy. Period. Can nobody in the world with me? It's my family. So, I am just grateful to you for taking my call because to take off mom, I think her name is Treat. I love you so much. I always respected your son more than the other Migos. God had me interceding and praying for takeoff because I pray for all of the artists. I pray for the artists because I know the truth. And uh, a lot of times these people start out good people or the music start out good. And then when it gets to the industry, they flip them. They flip them, but still, it's about choice. You can, you can choose this. You know, my my son was going to this church, and he, they got a pimp pastor from New York. So listen, I just wanted you guys to see the narcissistic elements in the story and just see how relatable it is to, you know, our lives and a lot of the stories that I've heard here on the channel and a lot of the experiences that you guys shared. Um, if you really were listening and paying attention, you can hear that she's obviously gone through a smear campaign with her family because, you know, she she's saying that her family makes her out to look crazy whenever she speaks up against a lot of the things that they do, you know, and they try to, you know, make her out to be a drug addict or, you know, make her out to be crazy, an alcoholic, that type of thing. And I know a lot of us have been through that same type of stuff where somebody has tried to, you know, uh, smear our name and discredit us because we didn't serve their agenda anymore, basically. Um, and a lot of us that have dealt with narcissists and been through narcissistic abuse, as soon as the narcissist don't have no more use for you, then it's over for you. And it kind of reminds me of what she was saying in the video where she said as soon as her son created the label and, you know, as soon as he got on, he looked at her and he told her, mama, your life is over with. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, ain't, you know, you cut off. You Everything is over with for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same kind of, it's the same way. It's almost like the narcissistic discard. Like, the same way the narcissist discards us is the same way it seems like he discarded his mother. And then he turned the whole family against his mother. And it just seems... Yeah, so you can just kind of see how her family was trying to control her, you know, through abuse and through smear campaigns and things like that. A lot of the same tactics that the narcissists used against us um, and the, a lot of the ones that we discuss here on the channel. So I just wanted to give you guys a, a prime example of exactly what I'm talking about. But I also just wanted to give you guys some encouragement because... Like I said, we are in a season of exposure. People are actually learning about what's really going on out here. It's a lot of um, mainstream situations that have a lot of narcissistic elements in it. And the more and more it happens on the mainstream, I feel like the more and more education gets out there and the more and more people make videos like this that will you know, continue to just spread the word and spread the awareness on what's going on out here and what's going on behind the veil behind the scenes so like i said i just wanted to drop this video i know it's getting kind of long i don't want it to be too too long but i just wanted to show you guys a uh, industry example of what's actually going on behind the veils and narcissism so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will talk to you guys soon i love you guys i'll probably come back and do a few follow-ups on this situation just because it's so relevant and it's like i said we're in we're definitely in a season of exposure and i'm sure it's a lot more elements that's going to come out in the situation the more and more his mother speaks so i'll, I'll tap in with y'all as soon as i can man love you guys and i'll talk to y'all soon